All right, I have a big update on my liquid culture inoculation theory. I believe the best way to inoculate a block or a amount of substrate with liquid culture is to get a tube, a plastic tube, uh, that can be uh, autoclaved in a pressure cooker surrounded by the substrate. Ideally, the tube goes straight in the middle of like a big jar so like for example um and once the inoculation process occurs the tube should be used as the liquid culture should run through the tube while the tube is pulled out of the jar so the whole entire center like there's a whole line of an inoculation point down the whole center of the jar um more liquid culture volume should be added to the jar than what is being pulled out because if more is added to the jar air will be pushed out of the jar instead of being pulled into the jar and if air is pulled into the jar that could lead to a contamination <clears throat> my idea for this happening on a large scale is making a donut of substrate with a pole in the middle um, and a an inoculation point on the top of the post and several tubes going out uh, that stretch to the edges of the barrel or the donut and this donut should hold at least 15 pounds of substrate to 25 pounds and if there's a farm out there that had these donuts they would they should be stackable but the point of the center post is to inoc is to make it so the liquid culture can go to all of the tubes and then while it's getting inoculated uh, the inoculator uh, all you have to do as the inoculator is twist the center post so all the tubes get pulled in and I believe that's the future of mushroom farming uh, I believe grain spawn is a thing of the past. I've already proven that liquid culture does work on bulk substrate inoculation. And I didn't even have to mix the bags that I inoculated. I didn't even have to open the tops of the bags that I inoculated. I just injected them with a syringe, which is probably the best way to inoculate. Because before, people were using grain spawn and dumping it into the top of the bag. <laughs> And that's just not clean enough for me. And since I've proven that liquid culture does work as an inoculator, um, I've been thinking of ways to make it easier on the mushroom farmer so they can inoculate with higher efficiency. <laughs> and the 25 pound donut with a rotating center post is the best way I have thought of doing that. As long as like they're stack, like if they're stackable, it's it'll be really easy to grow a lot of mushrooms in a small space. So, tell me if you think I'm crazy. Tell me if you think grain spawn is the only way to go, which like I think a lot of people think it is, but I think people are thinking too small. Like liquid culture is still mycelium; it still works. And it has a higher um, surface area of mycelium than grain spawn does because the mycelium on a, in grain spawn is surrounding a large piece of grain. With liquid culture, the liquid culture can be stirred up or blended until there's very fine like individual cells of mycelium floating around. And that, because of that, I believe liquid culture has a higher surface area of inoculation. And it's just better in every way than grain. So, yeah. <laughs>